Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a super tip that I wanna share with you. So let's go. This is a null sculpt that I did back in, I think it was like 2018 or something. So like five years ago, I did it for a presentation where um, they were celebrating Batman Day and I wanted to show them how you could 3D print your own Batman. I actually 3D printed and painted this one and, and gifted to a friend of mine. So yeah, this is the Batman. So what I want to show you right now is a technique that involves layers. Every now and then we're going to like be in a position where we want to add maybe like certain things to our character, let's say a little bit more damage. Like I I was thinking about doing like a typical eye scar right here on the character right but we don't want to make this permanent we want to have the option to either like apply it or not apply it well the first thing is this thing does not work with dynamesh so we need to disable dynamesh like we need to be on the final sort of like subdivision that we want to work with which in this case is i believe subdivision level four we can go higher so for instance i'm going to do Control d we're going to go to four million polygons that's perfect and now i'm going to go to layers and layers work in a very similar way to how they work in softwares like a Photoshop or like Blender or any other software, Maya. So I'm just gonna create a new layer right here. And as you can see right now, this layer is set to record. So whatever I do on this layer, it's gonna be recorded on the character. I'm gonna go with my Demi Standard and I'm gonna start sculpting again, like a very, very like common sort of like damage here, like a scar. Let's go right there. I'm gonna go with clay buildup and I'm gonna start like cutting away a little bit more. This is one of the ways that I like to do scars. And we're also going to change the pose a little bit. So one of the things I'm going to do uh, shortly is we're going to be adding uh, a little bit of, of a change there. Let's let's make it a little bit more rough. So the budding a little bit more right there. There we go. I'm going to use my move brush here. BNV is the shortcut. And we're going to bring the eye down. So he's like a really, really, really damaged, right? There we go. I think I want to go even more aggressive. And this is one of the cool things about layers that all of these things that I'm doing right now are non destructive. So I can at any point go back to the original. Um, what's the word to the original model and we're going to be safe or we're not safe, but we're going to be safe rather. So let's really, really go in here again, thinking about like maybe 3D printing this. I really want to go and make this a little bit more intense. We can do the same thing for the eyes. So if we jump to the eyes, we can also create a layer for this eye, for instance, and start like destroying this eye a little bit more. Let me get rid of the, there we go, the color. Let's bring the whole thing back so that we can see where we're doing the actual change. So we can do like a very, very, very damaged eye. And this will look... Like really, really cool if we were to, to 3D print it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to, to 3D print and I'll, I'll, um, I'll share the model as well if you guys want me to. So I'm going to use, oh, let's jump back to the mask. I'm going to start cutting a little bit more. I'm going to use Damien Standard here and we're going to cut into the character. Now, if you want to uh, learn a little bit more about this, I'm, I'm, I'm like, this tutorial is not over, but if you want to learn a little bit more about this, uh, make sure to check our Discord channel. The link is down here, and you can uh, learn a lot from our community right there. It's very, very active, so it's very cool. So, yeah, there we go. Now we have the, the really, like, interesting cut right there. Let me go back to the layers, and let me show you what else we can do. So the cool thing is, once I stop using this layer, I can bring this layer down. And as you can see, we go back to the original like effect. So no damage whatsoever. And the cool thing about layers is we can blend them so we can find whether we want to go full effect or we want to go halfway through there. So it's a very cool, like non-destructive way of finding how much damage we want to add or how much we want to change the pose, for instance, in this particular case. Now, if you want to go back and continue working on this layer, very important, you need to click on this little icon right here. And by doing that, you're going to be able to, again, continue like adding more stuff. The cool thing is we can add multiple layers. So for instance, I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to use a Damien Standard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start adding like, like crazy cuts pretty much everywhere through Batman's like suit. I know this is a little bit more crazy, right? But the cool thing is that if we combine these two layers, now we're going to have a layer that has a sort of like extreme damage on the character. Okay, like again, extreme cuts. We could even go and do like some like bullet holes or something on the, on the suit, you know, like tears and, and things. 
and see how much more interesting the whole like thing becomes, right? And again, at any point, I can just turn this off. And if I don't like this thing as much, we can just reduce the amount of effects that we have. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's one of the cool things about this layers. I do recommend doing this thing at the very end of the like the production thing. Like you don't want to do this at the beginning stages where you're still figuring out things like proportions and silhouette and things like that. You're always going to go and do them at the very end once you're doing like small little details and things. But again, let's do, for instance, another layer. And this layer is going to be just like a post layer. So I'm going to use my move brush to move this mount uh, down. I'm going to move this eye up. I'm going to like switch the whole jaw up on this side, kind of like he's doing a, like a grind or something. And again, all of this is being saved on the pose. So at any point, I just stop this and we can modify the pose of the character, find a slightly like angry look or something play around with this other eye, depending on how damaged we want it. It's a perfect, perfect way to generate variations. And even though we're not going to be, even though we're not going to be covering it right now, you can actually export this layers as a blend shapes. If you want me to show you how to do that, leave me a comment as well. And I'll be happy to do another video where we export this elements as blend shapes. And this will be applied to our animation softwares. So yeah, that's it, my friends. Thank you very much for the support. Don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like, join our socials. We are everywhere. We're in Reddit. <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. So join us and stay tuned because our first and newest premium course is going to be releasing very, very, very soon. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you back on the next one.